Hey there, rock stars. Today we're going to be making what's called a sediment jar. It's a super cool um, little tool that you can use to see how actual rocks are formed. And it's pretty neat and fun. And uh, let's see how it's done. <laughs> Here's what you're gonna need. First off, you're going to need a couple different kinds of rocks. You're gonna need sand. I'd recommend two different sizes of sands, but um, um, you know, just any, any old sand will do. And then you're going to want a slightly larger size of rock. And then finally, a even bigger size. So I've got these pebbles, I've got these tiny little chunks here. And then lastly, this sand. Next, you're going to want a um, jar of some sort. I have this mason jar here with a lid, but any old plastic jar will do as well. And you're going to want something to cover up the lid of the jar. That's very important. I'd recommend super glue. I'm going to use duct tape today um, because duct tape solves all problems. So that's how that works. Okay. So. First thing, you take your mason jar and then you put your jar over here. You put the lid over here. Like that. That's good. Like that. Looking good. Okay. And then the first thing we're going to want to do is get your funnel. Um, funnel is also something you should use. Good idea. I mean, you don't have to, but uh, you know, uh, only cool kids use funnels. So, hey, that's a only cool kid. You're cool if you don't use a funnel. I, mean, I want to be clear about that. And then we pour in some. I want to do sand first. Yeah, let's do some sand. some sand. Oh, it's mesmerizing. It's like an hourglass. Love that. That might be too much sand. It's the same exact amount as last time. It means it must be the right amount of sand. All right, let's do it. Okay. And then next you pour in your slightly larger size rocks. There we go. Some of these. <laughs> you gotta have it. I have instant regrets about this. Let me see. Just, just, just flip the funnel. Here we go. No, the funnel is not in use anymore. Shh. This is no longer Get a funnel. gallery. All right. So the funnel was a bad idea, but you know, whatever. There you have it. And then, maybe a few more. Maybe grab a few more. These are cool. Anyway, and then lastly, we throw in our pebbles. Throw in some pebbles. All right, look at that. All right. So the last step, the final step, is to add some water in there. We're gonna want to fill it up pretty much as much as we possibly can, all the way to the tippy top. And then the final and most important step, well, second to final step, duct tape it up. All right, so. Now it's time for the best part. Oop, let me fix that. <clears throat> so now it's time for the best part, but before I do that, I actually, I think I need to figure out how to do a time lapse on my phone. Um. And there you have it. It's as easy as that. Um, what's really cool about the jar is taking a look on how things have developed after all of the sediment starts to settle. Now there's still um, a little bit of uh, 
um, some silt that's still floating around and we might want to wait for that to settle but that can take a little while but you, what you'll see is there's definitely going to be a marked line where you go from heavier sediments to lighter sediments things like your really heavy pebbles and um, larger larger pebbles and then you're going to have your larger sand that kind of tends to fill in the cracks and then on top is going to be the really light sand and then the really light silt on top of that this um, organization of rocks by size happens because um, the biggest and heaviest rocks are going to fall out of the water the, the, the fastest and then the lightest ones that you can see the silt here is still even floating around what this is called when you find it in a rock because this entire section um, can lithify and when it turns into a rock it's called a fining up sequence meaning that you're starting with coarser rocks on the bottom and you as you move up it's getting finer and finer and finer so it's called the fining up sequence and this is um, a rock that you can find all the time especially if you know where to find river deposits because a point bar in a river is a part in the river where the energy of the river kind of slows down a little bit and heavier um, sediments that are being carried by that river fall and they fall down to the bottom of the river and they'll form a finding up sequence like this. So this is an actual um, geologic process that you can see in the geologic record preserved as rocks. But um, you can make one at home and whenever you feel the need you can kind of shake things up and see what happens. Excellent. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. I really had a great time making it. And um, please let me know if you'd like to see other kind of DIY videos like this moving forward. Take care, rock stars. Um, have a great rest of your week. And also, um, don't forget to like, comment, and smash that subscribe button. Catch you next time. Smash it.